Hello everyone and welcome to a new healing session of this week. So today is the first video of the special series that I want to start and it's the Zodiac series and specifically it's not only for people with the Zodiac sign, it's more for like that you can use the energy of this month which is right now Leo season from the 23rd of July until August 22nd and you know <laughs> I'm a little bit late because I have to re-record this video but it's okay um you can access this energy anytime it doesn't matter when you watch it it does not have to be during Leo season um the energy is activated for basically the whole year so watch it whenever you want to but yeah I'm gonna tell you the um intentions I set for this video so that you know what you can expect to help you out during Leo season. First of all, we're gonna help your creativity flow. Leos always know how to um, get to where they want. Uh, they're really passionate driven and I feel like I want to use that as well, which is why um, we're gonna help out our creativity so we know what we need to do to um, get to our dreams, like specifically steps, as well as help us chase after our dreams with confidence and courage. Leos are some of the most courageous people I know. They don't stop um, at all, doesn't matter if they fail, if it takes long, if they want something, they're gonna get it. <laughs> so that's the energy we need. That's how we need to thrive as well. So let's use it. Um, as well as romanticizing our lives. Obviously, when we build a dream life, we want what we already envision, this beautiful life of, I don't know, abundance, um, love or whatever. But in order to appreciate then what you're gonna get, Mm, we should start now um, loving the tiny little things in lives, maybe a good book, a nice dessert, stuff like that, right? I want you be able to implement that because it makes life really, really special and you appreciate it a little bit more. Um, we're gonna also help attract our dream life, <laughs> um, whatever we desire should be coming a little bit faster to us i feel like it's we all put um work into it and i feel as we deserve to get it as fast as possible and in order to do to do that we need a little bit more energy to put into the work of what we need to do to attract that certain life so i'm gonna give you a little bit of an energy booster i'm gonna help you attract abundance um, Leos always make money <laughs> somehow. <laughs> they always get, they, they never turn like anything down, I feel like, to um, get a little bit more money and invest in their luxurious lifestyle as well as like Tauruses in that aspect. I feel like they're pretty similar. So we're gonna have a little bit more of a money income. Um, during this um, week. Also, now that I'm filming it, today's the Lionsgate portal, the 888, which is the perfect day to manifest. So I feel like this was divine timing that I had to re-record re that. So as well as um, I'm gonna help heal the heart and back. Leos are prone to have heart and back issues and not only them, basically everyone as well can suffer from that, so um, we're gonna help heal that a little bit, um, make it a little bit more healthy, stronger, and yes, that's gonna be it. The same thing, vibe, is going to be for every zodiac. I just take like different things from the element um, that they are um, ruled by, the planet they are ruled by, the house that they are in astrology as well as like physical things um, in the body issues that that zodiac sign is usually connected to um, 
as well as certain characteristics already that this zodiac has. So look forward to, to the next one, which is going to be Virgo. But let's start it. It's a little bit of a long intro. So for um, our incense today, I thought we can get citronella. Obviously with the phone it's going to be backwards, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I feel like a citrusy scent suits a really Leo season because it's like deep summer and um, it kind of, it kind of feel like a lot of um, citrusy fruit is in summer more prominent. Um, it just be smelled like perfumes or like drinks like lemonade and stuff. So I feel like we can use this one today as well. incense at home, feel free to light one up as well. It may help you relax. Gonna go around your head as well so we can get every inch on your body to be cleansed. I'm also curious now that I think about it if you have anything planned for the landscape portal. If you want to share it in the comment section, feel free to leave us comments so we know if you're going to participate, if you're going to do something. I am going to do a small, small ritual on a TikTok creator that I follow. Her um, TikTok name is, uh, if I remember correctly, Limitless Living Fit. Um, her name is Francesca and she always gives the best advice um, when manifesting and special days like these come up. And she shared a cool ritual that she's going to do and um, I'm going to link it in the description if anyone of you wants to do it as well um depending on the time you zone you are you still are able to manage to get the ingredients but they're really simple it's cinnamon sticks as well as bay leaves and chamomile and usually a lot of people have those at home as well and if not they're really easy to get at the store but for those that are interested, I'm going to share it then in the description so that you can have access to it as well.
going to take the insides away for now. Gonna continue with the energy scan. So that the energy fields are like on the that we're that we're gonna be working on it. start by removing all the blockages that you have, anything that hinders you from achieving your desires. Any self-doubt, any self-sabotaging that sometimes the ego hints to do. Get my scissors real quick so we can get a little bit more deeper in the plucking so we can get those most stubborn and annoying ones out of the way. Also cut some around your head because the most limiting beliefs that we have are this tiny little voice that we always have in the back of our mind telling us, oh, you can do it, you can appear on its own, it can also be a result of people 
around us, of constantly putting us down and you know trying to hinder that you go the path that you want because they know you will be successful and oftentimes they try to stop you from that because they want you to be below them and if something that we know from Leos is they are the center of attention and they don't care if someone gets upset by it um, it doesn't matter if it hurts someone's feelings um, and that's something you should also try to implement if someone's trying to put you down for your dreams or is constantly trying to negatively talk to you um, sense of trying to make you feel like you will fail just ignore those people they usually talk from a place of um, jealousy and envious because they don't have the same capacity and energy that you have to achieve them so we're gonna now um, let your creativity flow with this beautiful carnelian um, with the sacral chakra because the sacral chakra is the chakra that helps us you know, get our creativity flowing, bring ideas in. It also has to do with our confidence, um, our touch with emotions. And usually the best ideas come from the most, um, I won't, don't want to say emotional and sensitive people, but people that are not afraid of feeling things, letting their emotions run free and wild and than trying to hide and suppress them. Those people usually have the most genius ideas, I feel like. At least the people around me that are like that are the most creative people because they don't fear showing their emotions in the work. And I feel like it's such a huge um, part of the success then. Um, like a building stone I feel like I would say gonna open up your sacral chakra and let the energy run wild and free so you can move around freely again without it being like overactive of course but if you have a blocked sacral chakra you might feel some tingles in the abdomen lower abdomen area Carnelian is a pretty cool stone that also increases our self-confidence, gives us courage. So I'm going to run that through your whole body to raise your confidence, your courage, your determination to achieve your dream life. Carnelian also helps with attracting success. So it's like any other um, crystal that has like multiple purposes that I feel like not a lot of people use. Because it 
a lot of people only associate carnelian with um, confidence. Um, carnelian is also a great stone to help with sensuality and sexuality and a lot of people only use those aspects of the stone but it's also oh, an airplane I'm sorry well scratch that it was not an airplane it was the military jet <laughs> uh, from all the days they could have chosen to fly it's always when someone's recording a video right but yeah the success, the success aspect of carnelian is actually really really strong because since it connects with the sacral chakra as well and the sacral chakra usually is one of those that besides giving you ideas are going to help you achieve that dream life or that successful life that you're dreaming of Sacred chakra right in front of your face so that you can focus on its energies and maybe it will inspire you to get one of your own who knows but as you can probably notice through the screen it is even though it's tiny it is quite quite powerful has a high vibration and it will help you out during this healing session. So, so we'll now move on with our beautiful rose quartz to help you out romanticizing your life and romant romanticize yourself because you know if you want to be successful I feel like um, you need to celebrate yourself first before we go around celebrating our achievements because you are the one that put your effort in it and before we go and count our successful stories we need to keep in mind that the person um, behind those stories is successful as well it's not only the achievement of Let's say you're in college and you passed every final exam and obviously you're gonna first like um, the exam is well done now I have this career but before you celebrate you having that career celebrate yourself for putting all that effort into it all those times studying all the na late nights you were up until who knows when in the morning, all the stress you felt, you know. You were the one that had the determination to go through with it. Or if you're someone that is trying to make it big on social media and you see um, the followers increasing and the likes or whatever, think about the effort you put in it the ideas that your beautiful brain came up with that inspired those people to follow you. Celebrate yourself first for even having the courage to do that because not a lot of people do. Now going to 
Put this right above your heart chakra. To put a little bit of the self-love in it that helps us romanticize our lives. Dwells with the chameleon. I want you here to focus on the crystal and its powerful energy. Kind of like absorb it in your inner mind, into your subconscious, so that you can always, whenever you struggle a little bit to romanticize your life, you can always go back into your subconscious and bring back that energy of the rose quartz. The next thing we're going to do is draw on abundance. I'm going to open up your body. I will like more like your energetic field, <laughs> not the body. That will be a little bit creepy, but for you to be open to receive opportunities where you can um, make a little bit more money, opportunities to meet new friends, your soul tribe, because abundance we're not only going to talk here in the material sense of money, even though I <laughs> said so specifically in the beginning, I forgot to add <laughs> that Abundance is not only money, it's like everything you can possess um, and that's also like friendship, family, love. So we're going to focus on every aspect of that. I'm going to raise the energy so that you can attract exactly what you desire. You may as well set an intention now, whatever kind of abundance that you want to, if you want specifically money, then set the intention for it to be money. Or if it's for friends or finding your soulmate, set the intention for that. So now I'm going to give you some energy boosters with some snipping so that we can, you know, kind of like wake you up in a sense. Press that energy booster down into your body. 
And here as well, whenever you feel a little bit drained, I notice you're lacking a little bit of energy for working or anything that you need to get done. Then access this in your subconscious. Like, oh, I need the energy booster from the Leo season video. And whenever you do that or think that specific sentence, your subconscious and your body knows to bring off a little bit of an energy booster to help you get those things done. I'm also going to, in the future, do a separate video with only um, energizing booster. So when you then need another refill and you don't want to watch the whole video of this one to get that, um, you can just access that one. And now I'm gonna go to your heart again and heal any pain that you have there, any uncomfortable mess that you have here. Sorry for that tiny little interruption. My phone was dying <laughs> and before everything gets lost, I thought, let me stop real quick and plug it in so we can finish this session in peace so i'm just going to go also around the whole um, chest area because it's not only the heart that hurts when we have heart issues but everything around it kind of gets a little bit weakened I'm gonna move throughout your whole back to heal any back pain, any tightness, removing it. Just imagine instead of laying on your back, now you're laying on your stomach <laughs> so you have a better access to it. Or maybe you're already lying on your stomach, who knows. <laughs> Something I said in the vi previous video that I had to delete was I asked you guys if you can guess which zodiac signs I am, like my big three, like as well as, well, my ascendant, my sun sign, and my um, moon sign. Because I feel like it's really interesting when people can guess it, because I know there are a lot of people that are really well in astrology. I'm not just so, by the way, that you know it's too complicated for me. I try to learn it little by little and it helps, but you know, I'm not an expert at it. But yeah, if you can guess <laughs> what I am, I'm gonna give you a free private Reiki session. Because I would be surprised if someone can guess it correctly. So I don't, you know, when they say you act like your zodiac sign, I, I feel like I don't always act like it. Um, I mean, I didn't know my ascendant until last year and then everything and my moon sign and then everything started to make sense. I'm like, oh, that explains actually quite a lot. Because from the date I was born in Europe, when I look my, at my zodiac sign, it says a different one. But, you know, since birth time has a specific tendency, I'm gonna now do the aura flush. It, you know, it was not correct. 
now that I know what it is, everything started to make sense all of a sudden. So, I hope you enjoyed this healing session and first video in the Zodiac series and hopefully you are looking forward to the next month, it being Virgo. I'm excited for this series because it's so much fun to implement different things. And yeah, let me know in the comment section what you thought also <laughs> about with the different device that I've been filming. Do we like it? I so far like it. I don't know. We're gonna after this I check about the audio. I hope if it's better than with the other ones, then I'm just gonna continue on the phone until I have that cool ass camera that I've been looking out and the microphones for ASMR. <laughs> but yeah. I hope you have a great day and that you're enjoying this landscape portal and that you're using it to your advantage. If not there's always a next year. It's going to be every single year, so don't beat yourself up too much about it. Oh, now it went out of focus. Now we, there we go. <laughs> so, everyone, we see each other in the next healing video. Bye bye!